Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I am going to discuss the types of forces acting in moving fluid. In fluid flow problems, various forces act on a fluid mass. These force, forces can act individually or in combination. Here are different forces in fluid flow. First one is inertia force that can be denoted as Fi, viscous force that can be denoted as a Fv, gravity force that can be denoted as Fg, pressure force Fp, surface tension force Fs and elastic force can be denoted as a Fe. Now I am going to discuss one by one. First one is inertia force Fi. The definition, the inertia force is the product of mass and acceleration of the flowing fluid it acts in the direction opposite to the acceleration so here fi is mass into acceleration so mass is m into a acceleration m can be written as rho into v into a so here v is nothing but volume rho into volume is nothing but mass so rho v into a now what is the example of inertia force in that fluid flow Consider a car moving through the air. The air's inertia force opposes the car's motion that contributing to the air resistance or drag. Now next is viscous force. The definition. The viscous force is the product of shear stress due to viscosity and the surface area of the flow. Now here is the formula of Fv that is equal to tau into A. So tau is shear stress and A is area. So what is tau? Tau is shear stress. According to Newton law of viscosity, tau is nothing but mu into du by dy. What is mu? Mu is the viscosity. Du by dy is velocity gradient. A is the area. Now what is the example of viscous force in fluid flow? When honey flows through a pipe, the viscous force slows it down more compared to the water because honey has higher viscosity next is gravity force fg the definition of gravity force the gravity force is the product of mass and gravitational acceleration of the following flowing fluid so the gravity force is the product of mass and gravitational acceleration of the flowing fluid here is the formula fg fg is nothing but m into g again m is rho into v into g Example of the gravity force in the reverse the flow of water is influ influenced by gravity which drives the water in the downward direction or downstream. So that is the example of gravity force. Now next one is pressure force Fp. The definition of pressure force is the product of pressure intensity and cross sectional area of the flowing fluid. Here is the formula Fp is nothing but P into A. P is the pressure intensity and A is the area. What is the example of that pressure force? In water supply system, pressure force is critical for pushing water through pipes to reach different floors of the building. So that is the example of pressure force. Next one is surface tension for force Fs. The definition, the surface tension force is the product of surface tension and the length of the surface of the flowing fluid so here is the formula fs is equal to sigma into l what is sigma sigma is the surface tension and l is the length so fs is nothing but sigma into l then what is the example of surface tension force in fluid flow in small droplet of water surface tension hold the droplet together maintaining its shape so that is the example of surface tension force now elastic force Fe, the definition of elastic force is the product of elastic stress and the area of the flowing fluid. So here is the formula of Fe, Fe is nothing but E into A is the area. So E is nothing but elastic stress and A is the area. What is the example of uh, elastic force? In, in, comp in, in compressible flows such as air in a balloon elastic force come into play as the balloon expands or contacts 
So that is the example of elastic force. Now what is the summary from this uh, uh, lecture? So here is the key point. Each type of force affects fluid flow in unique ways. So understanding these force help in designing system like pipelines, air capped and water treatment plant. The dominant force in a fluid flow problem guide the analysis and design. So now what is the real world connection? The engineer considered this force to predict and manage fluid flow behavior in various applications from civil engineering to mechanical to chemical to aerospace engineering. That's it. Thank you.